Hello class, Mr. Stone here. The problem we have today, usually it's a pretty neat problem. It's a problem that a lot of students are gonna see, okay? Right down here, they gave us brackets, five plus three, and in brackets, now square. Minus brackets, five times two plus three square, and the brackets, equals. You got a question mark, what is it equal? Okay, so what I did above, I put the orders of operation right here. Okay, and that's what we're gonna follow. We're gonna go right along with this, okay? Because if you remember this PEMDAS, okay, um, you can solve this problem, okay? So we'll just follow right along, okay? So it starts with P, parentheses, okay? So do what's in the parentheses first, okay? So hey, I'm just gonna rewrite below what, what's in the parentheses. So let's see what we got. We got brackets, brackets, five plus three, it's eight. And the brackets square. Okay, let's continue. Okay, um, now we get five times two plus three square and the brackets. Okay, in reality, we could do the three squares. So let's do five times two. Instead of doing an X, I'm going to do a dot. Okay, um, you're better off you getting putting a dot instead of an X early on because. Later on with algebra, you're gonna be using X as a variable. You know, it's X and Y and Z, they're gonna have your sulfur. So the quicker you get away from using the X as a times symbol, the better off you are, okay? So I, I like to just use the dot times. Now we got a plus. Now three squares, three times three is nine. And the brackets, okay, let's continue. Now we got eight square, okay? Uh, exponents, the square, so uh, let's write 64, 64 minus, okay, let's follow with PEMDAS now, we got 5 times 2, because the next one's multiplication division, right here, multiplication division, okay, so 5 times 2 is 10, and then we have plus 9, plus 9, we still got a bracket there, so let's continue, okay, we can do this, Okay, so we get 64 minus, okay, now we get 10 plus 9, it's 19. Okay, equals, so like, what's 64 minus 19? Okay, well, quick math, if it was 64 minus 20, you'd be at 44. But we got one less than that, so we got to add one to it. It's 45. Now, is 45 one of the answer choices they give? Sure it is. Answer B. Look at this right here. B. I'm still going to square this off so the genius knows, hey, my answer is 45, and there it is, B. And that's all I did. I just followed the rules of PEMDAS, okay? And I came up with a solution of 45, and that's the correct answer, okay? So even though this problem might look complicated, just step back and say, hey, I know PEMDAS, and write it down. You know, you can write, you can, on your scratch piece of paper, write P-E-M, P-E-M. Hey, yes. Okay, real quick. And then you just kind of follow right along with those initials. Okay, and you're going to solve this problem real fast, and you're going to get the right answer, and it'll be correct on the paper. Um, if you um, like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will help my YouTube ratings. Um, more people will see it. Um, if you know any students in school, please share this with them, because they're going to see problems just like this on exams. And... Uh, sometimes they'll panic, but if they, they see myself doing it, they'll say, oh, I can remember when Mr. Stone did this. This was real easy. Okay, all he did was follow the rules of PEMDAS, the orders of operations, and he solved this. Okay, and thank you very much, and you have a great day now. Take care. Bye-bye.